In the next two videos, we want to expand our reservation form functionality to be something a bit more complex. So instead of just having choose a location and then displaying the vehicles available at that location, we want to end up with something like this. So at the end of the second video, we should have this going. And how this works is, first of all, you choose a location, which is Paris, and you de then define pickup and drop off time. This is a rent a car application, so we need that functionality. So pickup time, let's say it's going to be December 7th uh, at this time and drop off time December 14th at this time. Okay, and if we filter vehicles, we get only Pontiac Firebird. Because if I check out my uh, administration for this test site that I'm doing, uh, you can see that the vehicle, which is called TARDIS, uh, is actually reserved from December 27th to December 30th and from December 7th and uh, December 10th. So it's not available between December 7th and December 14th, but it is available between December 11th and December 15th, for example. So if I enter those dates in, so let's say from December 11th at this time and December, let's say 17th. And now if we filter vehicles, we get TARDIS right here. So it's available at those times. But of course, if I choose, uh, what was the other one? So let's say from December 28th, till December 29th, filter vehicles. Now TARDIS is not available at that time and we will not display it here. So this is what we are going to be doing in the next two episodes. The first episode, which is this one, which is probably going to be a bit shorter, is going to deal with October's backend to set up our backend for our application. And the second one, which is going to probably be much longer, uh, is going to be about uh, getting all of this integrated into view and uh, making this functionality happen. Okay, so let's set up those dates for October CMS. First of all, I'm just going to go to Builder, choose View Rent a Car up and create a new table. And this table is going to be called dates. Dates is going to be ID of integer, auto incrementing and primary key. Add another column. This is going to be pickup. So pickup date, which is going to be date and, and time. And uh, it's going to, no, it's not going to be nullable and drop off. So this is also going to be date and time. Okay, save this. Next thing we need to do, we need to create another database because this is going to be a relation between vehicles and dates. So I'm going to create another database which is going to be called vehicles dates. Vehicles dates and we are going to have vehicle ID which is going to be integer and date ID, which is going to also be integer. Save this. Okay, now we created two tables. Remember, this one is just a pivot table to get the relation going between vehicles and dates. Now we go to models and we want to add a new model, which is going to be called date. And it's going to use a uh, view rent a car dates table. We are not going to add at uh, time timestamp support or solve deleting. Okay. And now for the date, we need to define forms and those forms are going to be, so the first one is going to be, let me just say a date picker, which is going to be for the pickup. So the pickup date. And the next one is going to be also date picker. Let me just find it and it's going to be for drop off, drop off. Okay, great, save this. Uh, we also are going to define lists. So we are going to say pickup up 
and it's going to be sortable and add another column which is going to be drop off also date and time and sortable save it great uh, now we have our forms our columns uh, next thing we need is backend menu which is going to be called uh, dates dates uh, I'm just going to choose this icon calendar uh, we are going to go to controllers and add a new controller which is going to be called dates it's going to be using the model of uh, date and active menu item is nothing for now let me just cancel out of this because I forgot to save this here okay save it now let's create another controller dates uh, date menu item is going to be dates list behavior form behavior okay and now we go to the backend menu and now we will have auto completion right here save this we've done this many times so i'm just running through it okay now we have this all set up i think uh, let me just refresh this page and go to vehicles and now in dates so we created this dates interface uh, because we still don't have our application fully finished but at the end of the application this is probably not going to be necessary because we are going to use view to add the dates to our database and you should do it that way so you don't want to manually set up those dates but uh, you want your users at the end of the checkout process once the checkout process is finished is to save those dates right here so that we know when the vehicle is reserved okay so let's create a few dates right here so pickup date is going to be let's say december 10th at 12 o'clock and the drop off is going to be at December 18th at 12 o'clock okay create this and let's create another one this is going to be from let's say 28 at 12 o'clock till 30th at 12 o'clock okay great great now we have two dates now we need to uh, connect those dates to one of our vehicles or to multiple vehicles so I'm just going to go to builder uh, go to models and go to vehicles right here and I'm going to add a relation widget which is going to be called dates and let's say reserved so this is going to be the dates when the vehicles are reserved uh, and I think that's it uh, let me just see this okay so name description name column is actually not going to be name but pick up pick up and the description column we don't have a description column never mind okay save this now of course if i go to vehicles and go to tardis i'm going to get this error uh, we already saw that error a couple of times but this error is because we don't have that relation set up in our vehicle model so let's just copy this out paste it in this is going to be dates and this is going to be models date and the table is going to be a uh, view rent a car vehicle dates so this is our pivot table and the order is going to be by pickup for example okay save this now if we go to our browser try to refresh this page now this works okay and now as you can see we have those two dates right here and i'm just going to connect them and save this great okay and i think that's about it let's just check out our api 
refresh this page and try to find TARDIS. So as you can see, we have TARDIS right here, but we still don't get the dates in our API. This is because we need to go to our code editor, to our routes, and right here where we are displaying all of our vehicles with images and locations, we also wanna display it by dates. So with dates actually. And if we go to our browser right now, refresh this. Now, as you can see for the TARDIS, we get two dates. So pick up at 10th and 18th, drop off, and the pick up at 28th and drop off at 30th. Okay, so now we got our API set up. In the next episode, we are going to take that API and create functionality like I showed you at the beginning of this video. Okay, so this is it for this video. Everything we did here will be available for you on GitHub. The link will be in the description below. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.